Hey, we want to welcome you to the Inspire Collective segment. My name is Russ Kimura, president of Inspire Collective Hawaii, and we're so excited. Today we have um, interviewing Sandra McClagan. You know, we interview business owners, entrepreneurs, professionals in the marketplace and what impact they're making and what kind of their story is and what it's doing here in the islands and beyond. And so we're really excited to welcome her to this segment and hear her story and how God is moving in every aspect of her life to impact the world around them for God's kingdom. So I want to welcome Sandra to, um, to the interview. Thanks so much, Russ. Yeah. So um, you're a part of Christ's Tribe mm -hmm. Meditation, right? Mm -hmm. That's your business. Christ Center Tribe. Christ Center yeah. Tribe. Mm -hmm. Could you share a little bit more about um, how that came about and, and what uh, your journey, I, I'd love to you to share with our people yeah. what, uh, what that's been about. So Christ Center Tribe has been, has unfolded step by step. You know, I didn't really intend to start a business when I first started. First, it was just for me in terms of figuring out, I, I knew I wanted to be closer to God and really be hearing His voice. So I did a deep dive into what does the Bible have to say about meditation? Because the world has tells us it's one thing, uh, but I thought, is is meditation something Christians even do? You know, <laughs> so yeah. it's like, so just did a deep dive into that, and God just started showing me all that the Bible said about meditation and biblical meditation, and I just thought, gosh, we don't really do this anymore. So that started my journey personally. Cool. And then I just started sharing that with my friends and more and more people were interested and they wanted to hear, well, what does the Bible say about it? Because I've heard, you know, different myths about it or I know other cultures or religions do meditation. So what is different about this? Yeah. So it really just started by sharing it with my friends. I started just letting resources out because when I started about six years ago, there wasn't a lot of resources at all. Right now there's lots of apps and all kinds of stuff, but back then there wasn't. So. Then I started uh, recording some for my friends because they said, I can't sit still. I don't know, like, I, how do you sit still for so long? My mind is like monkey mind, like, how do you sit still? So I started uh, recording some guided meditations for them. And so slowly I just started, you know, God just kept on downloading ideas of what he wanted to say and really drawing people into his presence. And I just kept recording them and releasing them. And I did that for, you know, years. Yeah. And so now we have a collection over, of over 200 meditations wow. that now we're releasing on a daily basis. And it's just, so it just was step by step, yep. all to say. It's just, you know, I didn't set out to do a big business, but it has grown. Absolutely. And our community has grown. So. Isn't that cool how God will birth something in your heart? And sometimes it just comes out of a need that we want to do. Absolutely. And then from there, we realize other people need it. And it's essentially, that's what business is. is like, exactly. people, I like coffee. People like coffee. Hey, let's, you know, I mean, yeah. sometimes it starts that way. Right, right. Um, but I think I'd love for you to deep dive a little bit more into that Christian meditation because there can sometimes be a little bit of a stigma around, yeah. oh, meditation, isn't that non-Christian? Like, how can they coexist? And right. I'd love for you to share with our people, um, how does Christian, med how, what is different about Christian meditation and, and um, how has that impacted you, your life, and maybe the, some of your, uh, your tribe, the people that have, are listening to your, uh, engaging in these meditations on right. a daily, weekly basis? That's such a good question, and I'd say that's the main question I get. What is the difference right. between Christian meditation or Christ-centered meditation? Right. And one of my favorite scriptures is 2 Corinthians 3.18 that just talks about, well, first of all, I define meditation as just sitting in God's presence. Mm -hmm. It's not really much more fancy than sure. that, you yeah. know? It's like sitting in God's presence. But I think the difference between normal, just kind of what we think of like God time or devotional time, sometimes we fill that with a lot of spiritual activity, which sure. is not bad. But I got to a point in my life where I was doing a lot of spiritual activity and I could do all of that mm. without ever really engaging God, wow. which is kind of crazy. Yeah. Um, I could read the Bible, I could kind of list off things I was praying for and, and never quite feel that intimate connection where I describe it as looking God in the eye, yeah. like just pausing wow. for this moment where it's like, hey, God, yeah. you know, like, how are you? How are you? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and, sure. and just where he can talk to me and I can actually listen. So meditation, biblical meditation, is this moment of coming into God's presence. And that verse that I referenced, Second Corinthians, it's, it talks about how, um, you know, it's referencing Moses and he says, now we with unveiled faces, um, we behold the glory of the Lord. And in that beholding, we are changed more and more to, into his image from one degree of glory to the next. Wow. 
So biblical meditation for me is in that scripture. It is simply coming into God's presence with an intention and awareness to give him all of our attention in that moment and behold his glory. So beholding scripture, things, you know, it's not like you have to read scripture and then just think about it, but it's, he's hidden that word in our heart. So it's just pausing for those moments where we can really behold God's glory and in that beholding him he says we are changed from into his image from one degree of glory to the next yeah. so i believe those those times of meditation are actually the places of the greatest transformation yeah. and that has been evident in not only my life but also people who are on this journey with me the part of our you know our christ centered tribe they are experiencing that on a daily basis yeah. because there's something different between just spiritual busyness and activity and spiritual intimacy, looking at God in the eye. Yeah. What would you say to that person who's struggling to look God in the eye, so to speak, and how can this tool maybe help them and where can they find that kind of stuff? Yeah, so I would say, first of all, I think we have a lot of expectations yeah. when it comes to meditation. I wanna do it right. Yeah. Like I, I, you know, I don't know how to do it. So it feels very overwhelming or it feels like, you, when you start meditating, you should definitely be sitting for half an hour or something right. like that. And you just have these kind of unrealistic expectations. And so I think the first thing I would say is you can't do it wrong. Yeah. You know, there is no right or wrong way to just be mm -hmm. with God and be in his presence, you know? And I think if we really take that moment to just say, I, my intention here is just to pause. Mm -hmm pause the busyness, especially when we've been Christians for a long time. I mean, it really does, it depends. You know, if you're new at the, if you're new to your relationship with God, you're kind of like, how do I connect with God anyway? But if you've been a Christian for a really long time, the, that, you know, struggle sometimes can be, I've connected with God for so long, now I feel kind of disconnected. Yeah. So it's just, it's bringing this intention that there is no right or wrong way. There's no expectation that, that God has when you come into his presence to be like, do this right. right. I think the biggest message I wanna tell people is that when you come in to be in his presence, He, God wants to tell you how much he loves you. Yeah. He wants to shower you with identity and adoration. And, he, and then that's obviously mutual, right? We're beholding his glory, so we're just, loving on him so anyway there's no right or wrong way to do it there's no right time length to do it you know it's just taking a moment of pause maybe a few deep breaths and not being afraid to use something like a guided meditation to kind of help prompt you prompt you in that yeah no absolutely and so you you have a youtube channel that they could find you have an app right mm -hmm. and you're on instagram i think there's so many um, people who are longing to connect with God in a deeper way and just don't know how, so I really appreciate you um, putting it out there. What advice would you have to someone who has an idea, an entrepreneur, or someone who's like, you know, I have this stirring in me and I, I just don't know how to take that next step and I don't know how to do it, I might fail, I, I, I don't know, is this from God or whatever, what would you encourage them? What would you say to them? That's such a great question. I think I would say just take one, that first next step, that first next right step. Because again, when I started off, I did not start off intending to make a big business. It was one little yes. Sure. God asked me to come into his presence and that's where it all started yeah. for me. And so it was just one thing. Okay, and then, hey, start a blog, start sharing this by writing. Yeah, sure. Okay, I, I can do that, you know, share that. Okay, now start recording some. Okay, well, this kind of feels silly. Well, I don't know if anybody's gonna like it. Well, just try it, sure. you know? Yep. And so it was just step by step. It was one little yes after one little yes. And I have been completely amazed, not only in my life, but also just in other people's lives of what God can do with yeah. just a simple yes, just yeah. one, you know? Yeah. And he just, you just continue to follow him step by yeah. step. Very cool. Mm -hmm. This is it's super impromptu and we, you know, I don't know if we can do this, but would you mind leading us in like a minute meditation or something sure. just on the on the spot? Yeah. Uh, maybe the people watching are like, I don't know what it looks like, but I'll try it and I'll just breathe and I'll listen and <laughs> we'll try to do it. And maybe it's their only experience of, you know, Christian med Christian centered meditation. Yeah. But maybe they see that and they're like, I can do that. That's yeah. simple. I could follow along and that 
did something in me that I could just connect with God in a, in a way that I hadn't experienced before. Mm -hmm. And um, I know I'm putting you on the spot because we didn't even prep this, but <laughs> okay. um, that's kind of what I do. So yeah. if you don't mind since, uh, leading us in like a 30 second minute long, yeah. you know, meditation and I'll, you know, we'll just go along with it. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Okay, cool. Okay. So if you're watching, um, just go ahead and close your eyes and just get comfortable. I just always encourage people to, there is no, again, there's no right position. So just get in a comfortable position where you can be alert. Sometimes people go, hey, can I lay down in bed? Well, you'll probably be sleeping in about <laughs> two minutes. So maybe sitting up straight wherever you're at. And if you feel comfortable, just close your eyes or just soften your gaze. And let's just take a breath. And we'll take a breath in through our nose. And out through your mouth. And just arriving kind of in this present moment because one of the most beautiful things is that God's presence is here with us now and grace is for the present moment. We can't change the past. Just continue to breathe. We're not in control of the future, but there is grace for this moment. And so as you just continue to breathe, maybe as you bring attention to your breath, you sense that that breath begins to deepen. And I just want you to bring your mind to God's grace in this moment, that there is enough for you. That His grace is abundant for you. And what might that mean for you in this moment? That there is no lack. There is just abundance of grace. Just take a few seconds just to think and breathe. And we'll finish this time with just another deep breath into your nose and out through your mouth. You can go ahead and open your eyes. <laughs> Very cool. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. You know, um, it's so cool when when I was doing that. Um, Sometimes when, when I feel the Holy Spirit, I get like, you know, chicken, we call it yeah, chicken skin yeah. or whatever. Um, or sometimes in worship, I feel that. And we were just in this simple moment of breathing and being in the presence of God. And I just feel him fall, like just got chicken skin. I was like, oh, yeah. there's God, you know, like it's yeah. so cool. And it happens in any moment, but right. what a cool tool and opportunity. Like, you know, I feel it's just like supercharging or, or, or adding to our, what we're already doing. It's not saying, hey, let's get rid of all of the Bible, yeah. you know, um, devotionals and this. No, we're just right. adding a tool yeah for us to pause and God knows we're so distracted and we've got so many things going on. The value of just pausing and being still, right? Yeah. He talks about being still and knowing that He is God, yet we don't have many tools to be still. So thank you for stepping out in faith and creating this. And I, I pray blessings over your business. I believe that this is something that it, it needs to go out there and people need to engage um, this this tool, this app, this, um, you know, Christ Tribe. Um, it, I, I assume there's a link or there's something that they could go to that say to check it out. Yeah, um, yeah. You can always come to our YouTube channel because okay. that's the easiest place to go. YouTube.com slash Christ Center Tribe. Awesome. And that's where it'll lead you to all the other places that you can get awesome. to us. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. thank you, Sandra, for Absolutely. taking some time to lead us in a meditation, yeah. but also share your heart of your journey. Yeah. You know, God's doing and evolving in um, your business and and how you're just putting out what you feel God put on your heart to bless others and who knows where it's gonna take us. You right. know, this is the start of so much more. So thank you for being a part of Inspire Collective. Yeah. I know you're a member there and we're so glad that you've been a part of that and we're excited for you to share more with our members and, and beyond the tool that you've created to bless others but also help people connect. The guy, I love that picture of looking God eye, yeah. or straight in the eyes and uh, just being in His presence. So yeah, thank you so absolutely. much for your time. Thanks. 
Yeah, and so I wanted to share with you folks about Inspire Collective Hawaii. Now, we have many different events that are coming up. We do monthly coffee talks, we do pauhanas, we do business insights, and we would also do some conferences and different things. We have a membership that I'd love for you to check out and join us, and we, you get resources as well. But, but primarily, you're just getting connected with like-minded people who are trying to make an impact here on this um, island and beyond for God's kingdom, but also taking what our professional jobs are and uh, really meshing the two and realizing that it's not just about profits but it's about purpose and, and the impact that God can use and do through us. So I want to encourage you, check out Inspire Collective Hawaii. I'd love to see you at one of our events or connect with you personally and shake your hand. Thank you for joining us for this uh, um, segment of Inspire Collective Hawaii. You take care.